So we know that Ale is one. There's no separation between him and his What's attributes. What's the clause I brought up just so I know you listen to me? You're, you're saying that one is not like anything mathematically that we understand in the world because Ale is completely other. Fair. I get you. So, listen to this. You need to bring something else. I, I think that. I think, think this I, I, is what you bring great. to Shemsi. You don't you, bring this to you, us. You don't. I mean, I'd rather so. worship the Romans who killed God than right. worship God. No, Shall I tell you why, bro? Shall I tell you why? Because when you get to the end of your life, you won't say to yourself, I wish I had more power over other people. You will say, I wish I had more love. Yeah, okay. <laughs> So my point to you is, if that is, I can tell you 99% that most likely this hadith is fabricated. So, so my point is, you've got to prove that. Bro. You can't just I need the reference for the hadith in Tirmidhi. So you'll have to research it. You have to it. bring it because you've used it as evidence, but you've not quoted me the source. The Muslim scholars have used it as evidence. No Muslim scholar. This statement this here, this scholar. whole highlight, who is he? So, so what, do you think this is a Christian Anyone, that wrote these anyone notes? can produce Quran and oh, right. then provide so the fear in the bosses. Bro, so you're grasping at straws, mate. This is an Islamic book. It's made by a university I'm honestly, in Saudi Arabia. I'm, honestly embarrassed. I'm using an Islamic You're performing document. for the camera right now. One second, one second. I'm asking you to provide me the name of the person who wrote I think the explanation. It is sufficient that the Muslim scholars have identified it as emerging from Timur. That's not what I'm asking. Sufficient you. For me. I, I is it sufficient for you? Okay, That's why I need to find that. So you, right, go and find I will it. try to find it. Go and find it. But my point to you is this, because I have it, other it's examples. Your, is your colleague always like this? <laughs> yes. He yes. He doesn't know how to conversate. He does know how to conversate and converse, whichever you want to use. I'm struggling to have one. So? No, because we're not on camera here. I don't know. He's my brother camera, but we were having a discussion. I asked him a very simple question. Please quote me who wrote the explanation in this. Uh, it was telling me the, as, as what this is known as that the translation and the interpretations of the Quran. Now each, each Quran that's produced in the English language always has somebody that provides like commentary. I'd like to know who wrote the commentary. You know what it sounds like? It sounds like I've caught you out on something and you're just saying, well, the evidence can't be trusted. That's what it sounds like. Well, not we don't trust, necessarily. We don't necessarily trust you don't, don't trust, trust he doesn't trust a Quran translated by a university in Medina. Yeah. Yeah. I don't. That's what he's saying. He doesn't Why? trust. Why? 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 Because they're literalists. They're, they're literalists. They, they're extremists. They're extremists. They're extremists. Right. You've got the wrong, you need to bring something else. I, I think that, I think, I, this is what you bring great. to Shemsi. You don't bring this to us. You don't like, you don't like that argument I've got another one that's fine I've got plenty where that comes from you need to rely upon Quranic text yeah yeah yeah, yeah like this one I'm just about to give you like this one I'm struggling just about again, my friend like this one you're, you're, that's why like, I tried like to have a conversation again. with you but you're running around in circles just being silly so here's another example it, 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 the same applies with the Catholic Bible if I was Bro, to bring it here with uh, an explanation you would not accept the Catholic explanation how do you know it's what a Jehovah's Witness so, oh Jehovah's so, Witness Bible so let, let, let me give you another example Allah entering his creation I've given you one, let me give you a second. We all know that Allah is one. He is a monad. He is a, he is a singularity, yes? There's no division within him. Singularity, not in the mathematical sense as we understand. He's a monad, right? Because that's a created concept. I agree. Number one. I agree. This is a problem in Islamic theology. I agree. So, in, but, but Islam teaches. Islam. I didn't insult him. You're, you're I said using it was a problem in Islamic like, theology. Where was the ad hominem? I said no, it was a problem in Islamic clear, theology. Clearly, it's not. Why is that ad hominem? This is where the belief comes from to understand. It's not the mathematical no, one. No, no. You're, you're just you're I don't know who's bro. taught you Islam. No or where one you're used an ad hominem. But you're bringing nonsense and and slight ad hominems to this. Where was the ad hominem? Tell me what did I say that was ad hominem? There's a problem in Islamic theology. You clearly know that the majority of Muslims do not believe God is one like the number one that we know as uh, Where was the ad hominem? An ad hominem is attack upon you. Because you know upon that Did you hear an ad hominem? Uh, you know upon that, that's not my belief. It was an ad hominem. It was an attack on the theology Thank that you, you. That's what I did. No, no, no. He's accusing me of believing. It's not an ad hominem. 
strong man. I believe that you're not going to 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 believe that you're not going so we know that Allah is one, there's no separation between him and his What's attributes. What's the clause I brought up, just so I know you listen to me? You're, you're saying that one is not like anything mathematically that we understand in the world because Allah is completely other. Fair, I get you. So, listen to this. And has there come to you the story of Musa? When he saw a fire, he said to his family, wait! Verily I have seen a fire, perhaps I can bring you some burning brand therefrom, or find some guidance of fire. And when he came to it, the fire, he was called by name, O Musa, verily I am your Lord, so take off your shoes, you are in the sacred valley, and I have chosen you, so listen to that which I will reveal. Verily I am Allah, there is no God but I. So worship me and perform salat for my remembrance. So Allah's voice is there in the burning bush. Allah's attributes can't be separated from Allah, so Allah is there in the burning do you bush. Think that, do you think that I believe that Allah's speech is uh, eternal? Yes. No, I don't. Fair enough. You're a Mutazzala, that's fine. There you go. I am okay. I, I'm actually very close to the Mutazzala creed. Sure. I believe God creates his speech. Right. So let me ask you this question. As someone who believes that Allah creates that's his speech... The, that's the problem I'm going to have because I'm a Mutazzala. I'm not that's fine. Shancy. So let me deal with you as a Mutazzala. I will no longer make reference to Salafist arguments. Thank you. I'm going to do math. Now that I understand that you're a Mutazzala. So let me ask you this question. When Allah says, from the burning bush, I am your Lord. Is he there? No, he's not. Right. So was he lying? He created speech that went into this creation, additional creation on creation, his speech. So, so his speech was created at the time. The speech is coming from the fire, but God is not physically present in the fire or around it. So the statement is this, I am your Lord. Was he lying? Of course not. So that speech is him. The speech is not him. So the speech just is like, not him. Just like the, when you're on the phone and I'm speaking to you, those packets of data that are coming yeah. from you yeah. are not actually your, your voice. Your voice. Yes. yes, fair enough. So, if Allah is not present in the burning bush, okay, and Allah is the one who is creating speech, you don't believe that the Quran is eternal? No. You believe that the Quran is a created thing? It's a created thing. I've got to admit, your position is far more consistent than the Salafists. Logically. It is much more logical than the Salafist position. In terms of the Mutasilites, they would say... I'm just a confirm, I'm not a Mutasilite. Sure. I'm a Zaydi. Okay. A Zaydi, yeah. Right, fine. So let, let's, let's look at this. In the Quran, we have statements about people that will do things. Mm -hmm. That have done things. In the past and in the present and in the future. Are those moments predestined? Predestination is a, is a big subject. Now, so to everything you could argue from, from an aspect from God, for God to be all-knowing, he must have knowledge of the future, correct? Yes, yes. Okay. Now, the predestination, how we calculate it from a Zaydi at a point, I might, might be wrong, but I'm not a scholar from my religion. So, for example, my intention, for example, might be to go and eat a cheeseburger, yeah. right? I've chosen that out of my own action, right? I have free will. Although, for God to be all-knowing, this action had to be predestined, although I made my choice. So it was always going to be my choice, but it was predestined. Okay, so it was predestined. So when the Quran describes it, is that, is that statement eternal? No. No. So it could have been different. Because whatever happens within the confinements of the laws of physics can't be eternal. I, I agree completely. Therefore anything, anything that has been prophesied clearly won't be eternal, although it had to exist for forever. So anywhere One second, Quran, I've got a question. I've got forever. a question. The attributes of Allah. Is Allah eternal? That's one of his attributes, yeah. Are his other attributes eternal? Certain attributes he created. Including his word. His, his speech is created, yes. So Allah changes? 
No. What year? But he creates. What year? Because the fundamental part of Allah that does not change doesn't change. Which is? So he's got certain attributes that are always have to be there no matter what. Yeah. So the ever living, the eternal, etc., etc. Those things which in a philosophical argument would have to be uh, completely understood for me to prove to you that these things are vital for God to have to be God. Without them, he can't be God. But he creates other attributes. Yeah. Right. So God, for example, can create an attribute. The, the all angry, for example. God can easily become the all angry and make that an attribute. However, does, God does not need all angry. To, exist, uh, to be his attribute, to exist and to be God. If you're saying, if you're saying that God creates attributes and attaches them to himself, is that what you're saying? Yeah. Then that means God changes. No. So how does God not change if he does that's something like, new to like As a human being, if you put on new clothes, well, I'm sorry for the anthropomorphic example, but if this man changes into a suit, he is still your name. I don't know your name, but he's still that person. But the clothing is not an attribute of humanity. It's just an analogy that I'm using. But what I'm saying is a poor analogy. An, an attribute to humanity Not is something like a human... A hu most humans, it is normative for humans to speak. And a, a changing of the attribute of humanity, adding a new attribute on, is something akin to suddenly allowing humans to fly of their own inner nature. But that's essentially what you're arguing. The ability to speak is your attribute. Exactly. The words you're saying is creation. What, what I'm saying is that uh, adding another attribute to the nature of humanity would be equivalent to saying something like human beings can now levitate. I, I see where this is, where this can go. Okay. So, in, in, to be honest, to compare it to the Trinity, I understand now what the argument is. You're basically you're saying God can create a certain amount of attributes, therefore to present the Trinity to exist. And to, and, and to be honest, that's a valid argument. It's not an irrational point to believe in God, first of all, logically is irrational to us because it's a matter of belief it's not proven imperative right if God decided to create attributes to turn into the human form and manifest according to our logic it, it is possible thank you I agree with you on great that. great great because that's the point that I was making to you yeah is that you you have argued that God can create attributes and apply them to himself so God can create a human nature and take it onto himself. He could so, do a, great. Yeah. So now we've established the rationality of the incarnation. Perfect. Now you said, you said, I didn't want to worship um, God who becomes a man because he becomes weak. But now you accept that God can create a human nature and take it onto himself. I mean, himself. I, I, I just logically can't believe in a God that got manhandled by Romans. I really can't. But, but now we've accepted. Yeah, but now I, I, that, I, I, that's the problem. That's irrelevant. Where we get into a problem. Irrelevant. You breastfeed. I can't believe. Irrelevant. God, God goes on a cross. God yeah. goes on a cross and Romans. I'm not going to worship for him on a cross and all of this stuff. I mean, I'd rather so. worship the Romans who killed God than right. worship God. No, Shall I tell you why, bro? Shall I tell you why? Can't be Let me explain. I'd rather worship Let me explain. Julius Caesar. Shall I tell you why, bro? No, bro, 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 no, no, bro. We're going to worship. No creation. It don't make sense. Nobody just said, bro. Bro, no, sorry, bro, God, bro. One second. One second. I'll tell you why. I'll tell you why. I'll tell you why. Because you're saying that the thing that is of highest value is power. That's what you're saying. Yeah. I would rather I worship the Romans who kill God because they are more powerful than God. Yeah. So that's no, saying no, no, a lot about your value system. Your God got beat up by Romans. a lot about your value yeah, system. Yeah, so Why would you worship that's what somebody who got saying. defeated by his own creation? So what I'm saying, I'll, I'll, I'll wait until, 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 until he says. So guys, what I'm saying, what I'm saying, because those two are now talking amongst themselves. So what I'm saying is if your value system says that no, power is the most creation. important thing. You're trying to I the want point. to say, I want to say to you that your value system is flawed. You're diverting now. That your value system needs correction. Because the moment you think about my next question, you're going to realize that the most important value is love. Because when you get to the end of your life, you won't say to yourself, I wish I had more power over other people. You will say, I wish I had more love in my life and to other people. That I spent more time with my mother, that I treat her better, that I loved my sister better. And so you admit in your heart 
that love is the highest value. And that's the problem with the brother. His value system is distorted by sin because he thinks power is the most important question. Let me ask you all a question. answer a question, listen. Which would you like to live your life governed by and have other people live the life governed by this by this principle? friend, relax. Do you want them to live by power or by love? Put your hand up if you want it to be lived by love. Put your hand up if you want it to be lived by power. If Jesus was killed by Romans, if Jesus was killed by Romans, would you rather worship someone that killed God or worship God that died? Think about the logic that underpins the question. Julius Caesar. He would rather worship the killers. Ah, the killers. He would rather worship the killers. Power is more important than love. And that's the problem with the Islamic God. Is that it elevates power greater than love. So to wrap up. So to wrap up. What we were talking about. What we are talking about was the incarnation. Okay. Now the brother, to be fair to him, is not a Salafist. Okay. So he has a more logical understanding of theology than the Salafist that I've spoken to in the park. He's very close to the Mutasilites, which incidentally were considered by heretics, they were considered as heretics by other mainstream Muslims. So just to put that in there. And he acts the, the brother in particular believed that Allah can add attributes to himself. That's what this particular Muslim was arguing. Which means that he has no objection rationally to the idea that God can take a human nature unto himself. And he accepted that because at least he is logically consistent. His objection to the incarnation is based upon the idea is based upon the idea that it is not befitting that God should be killed by Romans. And that he would worship the Romans because they killed God, rather than worship God himself because he became a man. What underpins that attitude is that power is the highest value system in that brother's matrix. Value is the most, the most important value is power. However, if anyone simply reflects upon how they want the end of their life to be, I guarantee that any honest, humble, sincere human being will not say at the end of their life, I wish I had more power over other people. They will say, I wish I had had more love in my life. I guarantee every one of you on your deathbed will have wished for more love in your life because your nature corresponds to the truth of the Christian faith as opposed to the lies of Islam. And when you encounter beauty, it resonates within your soul. You know it to be true intrinsically. And so if at an intrinsic level you recognize that love is the greatest value, then you have to disagree with the brother's conclusion that the one who had power is more worthy of worship than the one who had love. That the one who gave his life because of love is more important than the one who took life because of power. And I leave that conclusion with you. Thank you, Bob. Praise the Lord. Perfect.